Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Ashik Vox, and with the Steven Universe movie being a little bit away from our television screens, and hopefully select theater screens, there's something we should really use this time to touch on. When the heck does this movie take place? This has become a topic of discussion ever since the teaser aired on TV for the first time following the premiere of Change Your Mind. As we all know, Change Your Mind saw reformations of Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, Peridot, and Lapis Lazuli. Yet the teaser, that was identical to its showing at San Diego Comic Con 2018, 18, didn't really reflect the new forms that we just were introduced to, causing a lot of viewers to speculate and pinpoint when exactly this movie will take place. Is the Steven Universe movie set in the past, or will it be set in the future? Depending on when we get new episodes, could this movie even be our introduction to the time skip? First off, let's really look at the images of these characters presented in the teaser. Something I didn't point out at the time of this teaser release, just to see how the show itself would play out, was that the forms of Amethyst and Pearl in particular didn't match up with the reformations at the time, and they still don't. From what we can see of Amethyst, her top is definitely not white, the predominant color of her third reformation, which of course was the form Amethyst had in episodes airing at the time. The way she appears in this teaser reminds me a lot more of her first or second forms, mainly the first form she's in when she's introduced in the series, where her top is purple, but one darker than her pigmentation. Meanwhile, Pearl, I don't even know what's going on there. If you look at her shoulders, it doesn't really match up with any of her forms in the series, not even her new stylist jacket. The only one it somewhat lines up with is her appearance as Pink Diamond's Pearl, as seen in episodes such as A Single Pearl Rose, and Now We're Only Falling Apart. Last but not least, we have Garnet, whose form also looks a little bit different, but honestly, that's mainly due to the color palette and tint of the gemstone that all of this artwork is encased in. In all honesty, considering this movie wouldn't have been in the animation stages yet, when this teaser first premiered at San Diego Comic Con, and at most, it would have been storyboarded, I don't believe these are actual stills of the characters from the movie. In fact, in my countless of times of watching this trailer, Steven, Amethyst, Pearl, and Garnet all seem to have been drawn in the storyboard style of Lamar Abrams, who at this point kind of seems like the right-hand man of the Crewniverse. He's always on the podcast, he was one of the three members of the Crewniverse on the Reddit AMA, and he's pretty much been on the show since the beginning. Just the way Steven in particular is drawn has Lamar all over it. The really elongated fat cheek the white dots in Steven's eyes, which side note is very Sonic-esque. I personally got a lot of my art style from Sonic, and something about the way Lamar Abram draws these characters just reminds me of that franchise, so it wouldn't surprise me if that also had a great influence on him. And if you look at a lot of Lamar's episodes, you may have noticed that Amethyst, Pearl, and Garnet, Garnet especially, are all drawn the same way they appear in this teaser. That being said, I am confident none of these stills are actually from the movie, at least not in that current form, as storyboards wouldn't be colored in, but instead instead whipped up just for San Diego Comic Con and once again aired on television. That being said, of course they wouldn't have the gems in their new reformations. That would have been a huge spoiler ahead of time. If anything, it wouldn't surprise me if in the coming months, or at least the premiere of this movie, they actually update this trailer or make a new one in the same fashion that has the updated designs of the gems. But that doesn't really explain Pearl's appearance here. I don't know if Lamar or whoever drew this in case it wasn't him was just really feeling a single pearl rose pearl of that day or if that's a significant hint for the time period of this movie. Not that it necessarily takes place during the gem war, but that it takes place in the past of the show. Much like how the video game Save the Light, which I said time and time again on this channel is canon to the series, takes place during the events of season four, prior to Topaz and Aquamarine arriving in Beat City, yet was released during season five after the Wanted arc. If we do want to take Garnet's visor at face value, I can fathom the notion that this takes place before Change Your Mind, even before Reunited and that this is a side adventure that fits perfectly into the canon. After all, during all the episodes that aired as a Diamond Days event, Steven didn't really mention any of the major previous events in the series. He was just focused on corruption, so they can get away with Steven never mentioning the events of the movie there either. At the same time, this could possibly exclude the inclusion of Paradox, Lapis, maybe even Bismuth, which, for a Steven Universe movie, would be an absolute shame. So I would wager this takes place after the events of Change Your Mind, maybe before season six, and that this teaser was really just an appetizer and that the next one, maybe even the trailer we get this year at San Diego Comic-Con, will have actual footage of the movie, and that yes, it takes place in a post-Change Your Mind world. That being said, it is possible the characters have movie-exclusive outfits, and that Pearls just managed to sneak by here in the teaser. Now, 
you guys know I'm already hoping for a time skip, thus I'm also hoping the time skip will be reflected in this film. So if I had to wager anything, this movie does take place after a time skip. Maybe not one as far into the future season 6 and beyond could be, but a time skip nonetheless. Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. But what do you guys think? What are your bets on when this TV Universe movie takes place? When would you want it to take place? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet them at RoundtableVids. And for my own hot takes, you can find me at Austin Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of the channel or supporting us on Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, throw it a like and subscribe to the Roundtable so you never miss any great Steven content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Austin Fox, out.